Hi there, welcome to my channel. If this is the first time you're seeing this beautiful face, please click the subscribe button and the bell right beside it. So you get notifications every time I post it. This is not your first time. I love you so much. Welcome back. Sit back, relax, and enjoy. So this video, we're going to be unboxing my baby. Before then, I want to share with you my camera journey. It's nothing interesting. It's nothing that spectacular. So if you want to go straight into the unboxing, please look at the description box and you see the timestamp of where the unboxing starts and you can start from there. Let's get right into this. So um, vlogging, 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 vlogging. When did I start vlogging? I started YouTubing some five years ago. I started vlogging first and then Instagram and I started doing youtube just so that people could understand what i was saying from the blog because it, it felt like people you know preferred videos to reading blog posts you know, so that's the reason i started youtube first channel unfortunately was closed down i got into trouble with strides and i had to appeal and do all that so i just closed the channel down and started again three years ago so the first camera i ever bought and i'm one of the people that will tell you you can start with your phone you can start you know yes i will say that but before i wanted to start youtube and i just wanted to make a huge effort by buying a camera you know and then i got this one so this was the first camera i ever got when i told myself you're a satisfied youtuber i remember my friend remy i showed him i was like ah oh, 70d eos that, that, that. we shall look at it and i'm like yeah this sounds like a good one i went to Korea to bought this camera it came with its own kit lens story for another day i think it even came with flash as well did it come with flash i bought a flash i can't remember i think it came with flash Guys, at some point in my life, I just sold the flash and sold the kit lens because I had other lenses, you know, I was using with it. So this camera lasted for such a long time, just literally last year after I went to the NSAS protest. For some reason, it just came back home and stopped working. First of all, this the battery thing broke off and then the camera just stopped working after that protest literally i literally lost this camera so it's just been sitting there i really don't know what to do i think i should give it to a camera repair person to just you know sell it to them as a lemon and hopefully something will happen they'll buy it my decision was now to just start using this one for pictures because it's quite heavy when you travel it's just heavy when you're going down it's heavy so i got another camera this was the camera i got i actually unboxed it i don't know if it was on this channel or the previous channel i unboxed this camera everyone loved it it was just beautiful because i was filming with the phone and then i put the camera it just looks so good so this is the g7x mark ii i never into mark one i just went straight to the mark two and guys this camera amazed me so i got this for almost 500 pounds like 400 and something pounds and yeah he served me for days the other day i was filming for um, one of my clients cook with pizza the people that make nigerian food box meals and this they fell into the soup i was making guys i'm going to still show you the video probably but yeah this literally fell into the pot of soup i brought it out cleaned the pot and i think i really used water to wash it a bit so did i i can't remember i was just scared made a film made a clip of it with my phone and then i sent it to some repair people those who received it and they were like ah guy, girl there's no point repairing it'll cost you too much we can either give you did they say 70 pounds or 20 pounds or something oh no sorry they said i should pay 20 pounds and they'll return it back to me or just forget it and don't pay anything so i was like you know i have um and i had a battery inside this and and then I just didn't just have my camera back, so I paid the twenty pounds. The next day, thing came to me. This one are so dope. I'm gonna put their link. They're called um, see Camera Direct. So I'll put a link to them in the description. If you have any problem with your camera, just they're so professional. Everything is just so well. But yeah, this couldn't be repaired. So fortunately, I still have. But they cleaned it. Yeah, so they went inside and cleaned it because they thought it was the cleaning problem. They thought it was liquid problem. They went and cleaned it, but yeah, nothing. So I'm just gonna look for who to sell this off to at some point. Or okay, before this actually fell into the soup, guys, I had actually done an unboxing of another camera, but for some reason I didn't just post it. So I started my business last year and to say thank you to myself, um, I said in June and in December, I was like, okay, you know what, let's say thank you to ourselves. It does have other things that happened in my life. I was like, yeah, I, it was worth doing, buying myself a good gift. So I said, I'll buy a camera. I spoke with friends, you know, it was just, it was just in between the Canon M50 and the Sony A. I actually really wanted the Sony A6400, but it was too expensive. So I went for the Sony A600. Yeah. Okay, 40. I shall wait for 6000. Yeah, so I bought the um I unboxed this camera. In fact, the first one I bought, 
didn't come with the lens and i didn't know so that was another story but i actually filmed the story but when i just saw that i wasn't feeling that sunny camera i wasn't excited to publish the video so i just kept looking at the video i went on john lewis got the the one with the lens and everything i even got my reward style points because the one that was actually heavier on john lewis than on amazon so i got i got the camera from john lewis i got like 25 something just for commission on reward style so that camera came opened it i tried to use this camera first of all the the this thing the viewfinder didn't need to come up transferring pictures i had and i had to use another app obviously that's my problem but i'm just a canon girl that's why i just told myself like girl you're just a canon girl like this, this maybe if, if, if it's not the sony xv1 or something that one is so clear and nice or even the sony 6 400 that was still eyeing that my friend anu has i just said then i'm just gonna you know cancel myself out of it obviously with, when i buy all these things my phones research everything all the cases are always there so i decided to resell them it goes at the best price so yeah i got to gathered everything i went on ebay yeah the price was okay 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 but things ebay their commission level now is just so tiring they take almost 15 percent of your sales so it don't didn't make sense i went on facebook obviously saw some ridiculous offers and apparently i just saw someone who wanted to pay exactly what i was saying even said ah add your shipping money and this person this is something you should never do he literally paid me the money into my account i'm like what if i was a thief like i'll just go you guess facebook doesn't have any protection whatsoever for you buyers you know say that he has he always has luck with sellers and stuff i was like okay sent the camera no fees nothing i got my full price for the camera so i was excited and i was like yes like god wants me to really sell this sunny so the sunny went guys guess what i started using to make my videos pictures film my iphone right now i use the iphone 11 pro max the big one 256 gigabytes of memory but at some point the camera the phone was even tired like the other day i went shooting with my friends my remote control bluetooth thing wasn't working anymore because the phone was full i think it wasn't full full that i couldn't take anything but the bluetooth just wasn't working everybody we tried to try to the remote out there nothing was working i was like girl you can't continue like this obviously okay at some point my laptop had even crashed so but it was now fixed and putting things in my laptop is easier when it's the memory card separates that was the way i was separating my videos from my pictures but now everything was just on the phone that's right now i'm actually filming with my phone you know someone that started with camera is now on phone like this life yeah <laughs> gosh anywho so i just said with steph come let's just behave and try and get another vlogging camera looked at everything guys this g7x mark II to me is still the best like i give you your keypads it's still the best thing so let's get into unboxing obviously i went on amazon this camera was four it's a 78 i'm so excited for it because i know definitely this is an original camera i've opened it right now and this is how inside looks as i told you guys this is my former camera i've used it before so yeah it comes with its charger so right now i have to charge because obviously it comes with a battery as well i had an extra battery from the previous the g7x so <laughs> now i have three batteries which makes sense for me to have bought it so yeah this, so yeah those are the charging stuff and then this is my baby this is every other thing inside the manual um paperwork and this um, little plastic box thing yeah just extra cushion for the camera and this is the manual <laughs> do we still read manuals guys do we still read manuals i have two g7x boxes i'm going to obviously sell this one even if it's 50 pounds or whatever whatever they want to buy the charges buy and i'll keep my two batteries okay so let's go into the camera i'm gonna see it together you guys are gonna see before me because i'm gonna show it like this so yeah <laughs> So even the drop of this one, I don't know if it's in the old box because I never really kept it. But this is a brand new G7X. Come, come, baby. Pros of this particular camera is the fact that you can easily connect to my um canon connect app i can get my pictures so quickly i can send my pictures to my phone so quickly i can transfer easily the viewfinder comes up i can literally see myself while filming and it's so close to this it's not those viewfinders that are here and your eyes will be going like this making your viewers wonder your eyes will be going like this making your viewers wonder what you're doing whether you're not looking at them this one is literally just here so just a very short distance it's very compact like my other one shakes this one is you know firm you know it's brand new really everything just looks beautiful rupees here 
yeah so these are the um pro obviously a pro is that i'm a canon girl i love canon i've been using canon for so long i just love really really love canon and the disadvantage of this camera is the lens so that's the only disadvantage just the fact that i can't change lenses because i got this lens at some point for my eos camera it comes yeah so is this one ef 50 millimeter it's such a great lens for pictures and portraits i also have this lens well once i sold my kids camera of the eos 7cd i got this lens it was prescribed by one of my colleagues who is into cameras so i said this was the best lens for the 7cd if because all those um, sigma stuff i don't think they really work well with the 7cd so this was the lens we got and it's been amazing so i'm just keeping this just in case i get any other canon camera that can change lens on like this one you know i'll just stay in the canon family guys i'll just <laughs> as well just be loyal to them yeah so this is the camera um yeah let's put the battery and put the thing on i have this memory card now just put it inside yeah no i think it usually faces the front yes slide it up and that's it so let's put this on together <laughs> that's it hi guys hi guys Mwah. guys i'm so happy i think this is the last video i'm going to be filming with my phone i have a zara haul coming on between wednesday and friday so that's definitely going to be filmed here i'm so excited so yeah and i told you guys this is the best vlogging camera argue with your keypad to me is the best i love it so much i've gotten it again the second time standing this one is not gonna fall into any part of soup <laughs> thank you so much for watching this video um if you don't think this is the best vlogging camera can you drop in the comment section telling me which one is your best vlogging camera because i love my g7 x man too thank you jesus for this thank you jesus for provision thank you jesus for every guys all of you that engage all of you that follow me on instagram instagram is where i make the most money on social media thank you so much if you're supporting me there and i'll see you guys in the next episode bye bye <sighs> Another thing that this camera is actually great for pictures, just that I don't really take much pictures. Let me just go to my mirror just in front of here and take a picture and show you. <laughs> yes! So let's see. So this is the picture I just took by the mirror. No bad at all, no bad at all. <laughs> I know the fear. Every day, the Jagaido. Jagaido.